This is George, back with a new episode of d Run Comics. Uh, hit up the, the comic shop today, and I think I had um, the most new issues I've ever bought on a new release day. So, a uh, lot to uncover here. First book we'll just talk about real quick. This is one I scored off of eBay the other day. Got it on an auction that was ending, and pretty pumped about it. It's the uh, Chromium DC Comics Millennium Edition of Superman number 1. And yeah, I don't know that you, my my 2019 goal collect all the chromium covers, and uh, you know there's some that are more expensive than others, but this one I scored for about seven bucks, so pretty uh, pretty stoked to have this one. We're just gonna leave that one there, so it blocks the view of the other new issues that I got. All right, this one here we've got Young Justice number one, and. Uh, See, they got a old school Connor Kent Superboy is on the uh, this front cover. Um, I got the variant of this one. I, uh, you know, the, the the cover A was pretty cool, but I love Connor Kent Superboy. Uh, this is Superboy shirt, in case you're you're curious. Uh, but yeah, um, pretty it is okay. Um, yeah, I'll I'll definitely give it the you know the the treatment where I I I read uh, a few issues before I. Uh, yank it from the list, but uh, you know, and, and that's despite the fact that it's written by Brian Bendis. Still, uh, still hating on that guy for what he's doing with Superman books right now. But you know, if he writes a good comic book, I'll read it. This first issue was was decent enough to make me keep reading it. So, Young Justice number one. Oh, I also got uh, another one of the covers for that. This is the Impulse uh, cover here. Uh, yeah. And, and from what I'm reading in this book, and I didn't do a lot of research on it, but it looks like this is not taking place in the main DC continuity, uh, which is fine. Uh, you know, that, that always lends itself to, uh, you know, um, some liberties to the stories. You can, you can do some, some things with that. So hopefully it, it'll be good. All right, here we got Go Go Power Rangers number 16. Um, wasn't going to pick this cover up. I actually had to hit up two shops today. Um, to find the ones that I was looking for and this one here was like 20 bucks I don't know why but it was 20 bucks at the the first shop I went to and it was cover price at the second one that I went to so eh, you know I'm sure it won't be 20 bucks for long I, I doubt it's that good of a book I, I'm not reading it but um, the cover is cool I, I like some Power Rangers and and yeah so pick that one up all right, this is one that I am not currently reading, uh, but I will um, let uh, you know. Let me know below if you've been reading the recent issues of this. But we got Thor number nine, and um, this was a cover shop. I, I the, the the cover looked really cool. A lot of different characters on here. We got old school Marvel girl, black suit Spider Man. You got Mohawk Storm, old Rogue. Uh, you got Beta, Beta Ray Bill, Punisher, Elektra, Phoenix. Um, you know, just a, it's a really cool cover. So, um, yeah, saw that cover and uh, got Alpha Flight down there. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you've been reading that one and, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll buy some of the back issues and get caught up. All right, here uh, we have cover uh, B of Martian Manhunter number two. And this is a Joshua Middleton variant, uh, you know, known a lot lately for his Batgirl covers. But um, this one equally as cool, uh, not as uh, not as appealing as some of the Batgirl covers have been. But yeah, cool cover. I saw that and I'm like, whoa, who the hell drew that? And then I did my research and yeah, this is a Middleton variant. And uh, looks like I'm a little out of order. I was going to show you the A cover. There you are. A cover. Don't know why I bought both. I did. But um, A cover, not nearly as cool looking as uh, as the B cover. B cover is where it's at. Joshua Middleton all day. All right. Then we got Web of Venom Unleashed, number one. Eh. eh you know, I, I love Venom. And, uh, you know, I, I'll. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I could have saved. I could have saved. Uh, how much was that one? 
I could have saved my five bucks on that one. I'll tell you that right now. All right, and then here you got Miles Morales, Spider-Man number Dulce Amiga. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. You know, he's he's teaming up with an unlikely ally in this one. And, and the, uh, the last page has got a pretty cool uh, cameo appearance. And it looks like he'll... The, the, the cameo appearance in the last page of this will be featured in the next issue. Um, let me know if you want the spoiler on that in the comments below. Um, the, the disheartening thing about this is it's going to be over a month before the next issue is released. And the book is okay. So was the first issue. I don't know if it was cool enough to keep my interest being, you know, a, a delayed run like that. So... Hopefully they can pick that up a little bit and at least go monthly with it. I mean, if you can't go monthly with it, then you're, you're going to lose my interest. So I'll grab the next issue, but it'll tick me off because I'll have to reread this one to remember where we were at. So uh, Miles Morales, number two. All right, from there, we went with, boom, you got Frank Miller, Batman uh, 62. You got that old uh, Dark Knight Returns uh, style cover. And, uh, you know, I, I read this one once, you know, today before I started filming, and it seemed like the entire issue, spoiler, was all just a dream, but uh, I don't know, it was weird. I, I'm really annoyed because I was really digging the, you know, Batman going after Bane, and, and Bane is mentioned in this issue, but it it doesn't... You don't even see Bane. It's just a weird, weird book. Um, you know, and, and, and Tom King is writing this. I'm a huge Tom King fan. Hopefully they can uh, course correct on issue number 63. All right. Now this is a cool one right here. We got Harley Quinn number 57. Uh, yeah, that was a cover shop. Sorry, guys. Um, I saw this cover being kind of advertised in advance and... The, the, the shop had one left, and I, woo, I, I picked it up. And the, the second shop I went to was sold out, so I'm glad I picked it up where I had the first one. And, uh, yeah, cool-looking cover, giving you the old winky face. <laughs> All right, here we got Uncanny X-Men uh, number nine. Um, they had a really cool uh, variant cover with, uh, it was one of them action figures. They're like, boom, I'll show it to you. But um, it... it uh, it had damage on it. And there was only one left. And, it, you know, Jean Grey action figure cover, I would have preferred to have that issue. But I don't like buying comic books that are damaged off the shelf. Uh, so I went with the uh, the, the Mirror Mint uh, version of this. And, uh, yeah, this story is still heating up. I mean, I don't know if I would have stuck with it if it was a monthly series. But nine straight weeks, boom, 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 boom. They're releasing an issue every week. Uh, and I absolutely love that. It's a great... You're not waiting too long to, to get your next uh, dose of the story. So, um, very pretty pretty cool. I recommend it. Here we've got Man Without Fear, number two. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a load of blood there. There's some cool variant covers of this. Um, I went with cover A because it just it kind of fit in with the, the cover A of the first issue of the series. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, n nothing amazing, but... This is another one where they're releasing it every week right now. And, um, yeah, I mean, you're going to release it every week, and I'll, I'll keep choking on it. So, uh, yeah, Man Without Fear, number two. Check it out. <clears throat> Here we've got Justice League, number 15. I got the B cover, and, you know, pretty cool-looking cover. You, you can see the, the entire Justice League team here with the Trinity staring you down in the background. Um, but, yeah, book is okay. Um, you know, I'm, I like the new Justice League run a lot, you know, I'll, I'll keep reading it, but, uh, yeah, this one, I, I absolutely love the cover, pretty darn cool there. Here we got another cover shop, and I wish I would have done my research and, and found out who, who, uh, drew this one, really cool, maybe, you know what, we're going to turn it sideways, because it's kind of a cool view there, but, uh, Green Arrow, and it's the pencil sketch. You know, it, it looks like you, someone did this custom for me, but I, I can assure you that I bought it like this. So, whoo, a lot of talking. A lot of books to cover, though, and 
hopefully we're powering through it okay here um green lantern number three the b cover of that um yeah i can tell you that i am dropping that off my my pull list i'm done with that grant morrison um you suck ass too uh, i'm just i'm not a fan of grant morrison um or you know really not much of his work uh, i can't read much of his work and, and enjoy it uh he, he, he does not trust the art. He just just bombards you with dialogue that, you know, I bet you if I were, were the editor for this book, I could have stricken, you know, two-thirds of it, and the story could have still been told, you know, the, the right way. So, um, yeah, way, a little too much. They need to reel him in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, while he's on that book, I'm not going to be reading it anymore. I'm uh, all done with that. All right. Then I got a variant cover here. Boom. Of the new friendly neighborhood spider-man series spider-man number one and really cool cover the book you know is okay I mean it, it's I think it'll be one of the roller coaster things where we got to chug along to get up there a little bit but uh, um, yeah it, cool book I'm not going to talk about it too much uh, definitely uh, pick it up and read it for yourself and yeah good book I enjoyed it really cool cover uh, speaking of cool covers Oh, you know I love my my Spider-Man PS4, and uh, yeah, this is another one of those Spider-Man PS4 variants, and um, kind of a mission to collect them all. And I don't have them all yet, but this is a newer one. You know, the the, the original variants for this were released shortly after the game came out, um, but you can't have them all unless you get this one. So I, I picked it up, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like it's a screen grab right from the game almost, which you know, just really, really cool Spider-Man number one. The uh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one. All right. And then this was the reason why I had to go to a second shop. Um, I wanted the movie uh, variant cover of Captain Marvel number one. And I got it. And it looks cool. You know, she's standing in a hangar. Uh, fists are glowing. Um, you know, I, I can imagine that if... Uh, you know, Captain Marvel here was upset with you and, uh, you know, you saw her fists were glowing, you should probably uh, ease on back and apologize for whatever it is uh, she thinks you did. So, but yeah, cool book, though. Um, I'll keep I'll keep reading on it. And, uh, yeah, March 8th is when this one comes out. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, but, yeah, this is the, the variant I wanted. There are other variants that were more expensive and whatnot. Um, this one I paid eight bucks for, not too bad, and it definitely, you know, I do not regret this purchase. This is a cool one. So, yeah. All right, guys. Um, you know, if, if you want to hear any more detailed spoilers about any of the books that I talked about, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you want to know anything more about the comic books that I did not read, um, tell me to read them in the comments below. I'll read it, and I'll give you a little quick uh, synopsis or review whatever you're looking for. Um, chat me up, though. You can also find me on Instagram at DRunk Comics. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I got. You know, it is a work night again. Sorry, guys, no shot tonight, just the beer. But uh, DRunk responsibly. I'll see you all later this weekend um, after I watch the new Reign of the Superman at uh, movie theater. There's a little Phantom Events thing going on with AMC theaters. And me and, uh, and maybe my partner, Zach, I'm not sure if he'll be there, but... Um, he, he's thinking about it, and he's asking his lady friend if he can go. So if you want Zach to go see that movie with me so we can both talk about it, comment below on that, and I'll uh, guilt him into it. We'll, we'll get him over there. All right, guys. Be cool.